how to search for songs in DJ Pro. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm gonna show you how. So if you haven't watched any of my videos before, I'm DJ Spiegelspin. I make DJ videos about DJing with the iPad and other ways to think about DJing. So if you like that kind of stuff, you could subscribe to the channel. And a lot of things that I talk about in on this channel is the importance of being prepared as a DJ. And having your playlist set, having your cue points set, and being able to know where you could find the right song at the right time. So it could get a little confusing when searching for songs inside DJ Pro because they separate the play, the song selections by the sources. So there are a lot of different sources for DJ Pro and they have some streaming services integrated as well. So this top source is my collection. These are the playlists that you make and you could use music from any type of source to put into your collection. So if you use Tidal streaming service, you could take Tidal songs and put them into your collection. Now, the feature, these are just like free songs that they give you for, I guess, if you just started using the app and you don't have any music or any subscription to the streaming service, you could start DJing right away. So it's just basic songs to practice DJing. And then over here, music. This is music that is native to your device that is local on the device so any songs that you have downloaded into your ipad or onto your phone or whatever device that you're using the dj then those are the songs it is not your apple music playlist i made a separate video on how to play songs by on apple music and there's no way to actually load them in through this this screen because it's not integrated so let's get into how you would search for songs. So if you are on your collection, so this is my collection, all the playlists that I have made. So if you search over here, let me just give you an example. I'm searching 50 Cent. So now this is gonna show me all the songs by 50 Cent that are in playlists in my collection. This does not show every 50 cent song that there is that available on streaming services or that's ever been made or anything like that. This is just searching through your playlist that of the songs that you chose. So this could be very frustrating if you're new to DJing and you're doing like your first gig or something and then somebody asks you for a request. Somebody says, play this song by 50 cent and then you search 50 cent and it's not a song in your playlist because you weren't planning on playing it and you never added it to your playlist, but it is a 50 cent song. So if you're used to being inside the My Collection while you're DJing and you search that, you will never be able to find it because it's not searching through the streaming services and it's not searching through the internet. It's just searching through your collection. And then these songs that you find in your collection down here, they could be from whatever streaming service that you use. So if you see the ones over here that are darked out, that one is because it was a song added to my playlist from Spotify and Spotify is no longer integrated. So it says right here that um, all of May, these are songs from Tidal. So if you use multiple streaming services like Tidal, SoundCloud, Beatport, then it'll show you which streaming service it is coming from. But also if it's a local song that's on your device, it'll symbol that it's a local song on your device but now what happens if you get a request and somebody wants a song that's not on your playlist you go over here make sure you tit you are selected under your streaming service so title so over here if you see where i'm pointing it has the symbol for title so now anything that i search in here is going to be searching through title which is similar, almost the exact same thing as if you went on the Tidal app itself and searched for the song, that's what you'll find. So over here, you get all of songs. So these are like the popular songs and you can look through pretty much any song ever made by 50 Cent. So if somebody wanted in the club, you could search, you could just type in 50 and you'll find in the club very easily that way. 
So, and also make sure you know the spelling of the songs because this could get very frustrating. I know a lot of the people that follow my channel are from countries besides the United States and English may be their second language. And it might be hard to spell some songs. So I have had an incident where I was at a party and I was DJing, it was someone's birthday party. And people go, come up to me and they said, play Mi Gente. And I'm searching and I had no idea how to spell Mi Gente. And then I, instead of DJing, I was typing, looking like an accountant, and it was very stressful. So a good trick you could use is to look it up on, like maybe use your phone and search it on Google, get the correct spelling, and then search the correct spelling into the streaming service and you'll find it. And also with title, you could get the music video too. So you could search for any song and then you can load it as a music video. So I say the importance in all my videos of having a screen with you or a projector so that you could do music videos as well because people have less attention spans. So I recommend when you search for the song and you plan to add it to your playlist, add it to the playlist as a video. And even if you don't plan on playing it as a video, you get the option here. Video track detected, would you like to load the track in video mode? If you're not doing video mixing, you just press no. But if you just load this song, then there's no way you could load it as video. So adding the video, the video instead of just the track gives you more options and more flexibility if you do want to play music videos. So that's the most important thing is when you're searching, make sure that you're searching in the right source because it might seem like it's not working. It might seem like there's a glitch or something, but it's just simply because you're not searching through a streaming service. So if it's not something that you actually saved on your device, you will never be able to find it and it'll make DJing less fun and more difficult. So now once you're in your, in your playlist, what you could do is you can move any playlist. So let's say um, grandma's 80th birthday is coming up on tomorrow on Saturday. You can move this playlist all the way up to the top, and now this playlist is there forever. You could exit out of the app. You could go back in the app, and it will always be there. So when you're searching for it, it'll be easy to find. And then once you're inside the playlist, what you can do is you could adjust the order. Let's say you wanted to start the night with Toxic by Britney Spears. You could put it over here. And then we could go over here to different playlists. We can even exit out of the app. We could do whatever. We could use the app on a different device. And Toxic by Britney Spears will still be saved where you put it. So this was very helpful for when you're searching for songs. Because if you're planning on playing it sooner rather than later in your set, you could have it up here at the top. And you could also put two songs that mix together right next to each other. So you know that you're going to mix that one next. So I hope this helped you guys. I know I've gotten comments of people that were frustrated when searching for songs. And it's really as simple as just making sure over here you're searching through the right source so you could find the right song. So if you like learning about DJing and you found value in this video, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. It really helps. Thank you so much.